here's a chassis we're gonna ready to mount back to the chassis but uh, now we have to mount a our LED drivers so what we need to do is that we're gonna go first we're gonna take it out as I was beginning of this video um, I mentioned this pin assignment already matches what the inverter is the model ET uh, 1739L inverters is using a sample. So first we remove the inverter first. Okay. And oops, still there. Okay. We're gonna remove it. We're gonna disconnect the cable. As I mentioned, it's the same pin assignment. So I just plug in. So looks like that uh, we don't need this adhesive pole on this side. We can use one of the screw pole, metal pole. Uh, yeah, just extend a little bit this cable. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So we're gonna peel off the bottom side. Stick on the chassis one end. Okay. The other end. We're gonna. It's done. It's done. Next thing, we're gonna put back the LCD screen and so make sure it's clean. Okay. Okay. Here's the LCD. We just uh, get it done. Okay. And I add a couple of the black tip here. Just make sure the boom go around. You know, stay there. So next thing is that. Uh, we have make sure of direction. Direction should be like this. Okay, so first, we connect this first. Okay, all right. The jumper is set, it's correct. Now, next thing is here. So I think we still have um, using some of the assistant uh, tape to secure that this ribbon cable connectors. Okay, let's see. Just do like this. Okay. You can see it. Oops. Let me just take it like this. Okay. It's don't just be careful, don't damage the connectors. Now it's done. Then what I do is I'm gonna add a little tip here. Okay. You can also add a little bit the black tip on this side too, just to make secure this. All right, so let's put a bed like this. Okay, now we flick over. We put the screws back on each side. There's two on each side. So, all right, there we go. One in. Done. The other side. There's two more. All right. So you have to tilt a little bit, flick over. So let it drop a little bit. Perfect. To a lighter screw hole. So let it drop down a little bit. And last one. Perfect. So tighten up the screw. It's good. Next thing, because you make sure it's clean, because we're gonna put better touch screen, right? So it's clean, 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 clean. Clean. All right, get our touch screen here. Right, make sure it's clean too. So as we show you before, the best thing would be set it upside, right? So the wires on this side, just make sure the wire goes inside here. Okay. Goes inside here and comes out the other side. Yes, sir. Just like that. Oh, I see there's something sturdy here. So let me clean a little bit. Yes. Just put it back. The way it's supposed to be. Okay. So let me take care of the wire on this side first. Okay. That looks good. Oh, I see. 
this one I forgot to take out yet. Then we just put it back all the screws on four sides. We connect back this one, right? It's just easy. Let me set this side. Just we connect back uh, a little bit easy like this. Yep, put those wire inside. Put back this screw. And we almost there. And we just put all these screws, all the screws on four sides so secure the touch screen interface. And that will be it. Uh, again, this procedure is for to show you how to upgrade from CCFL to our UB70 series for this ELO Touch 17 inch ET1739L. Thank you for watching.